The stock is currently at $6.03 a share. But Yahoo analysts estimate it can go up to $13.25 a share in the next 12 months. That's over a 100% return on a stock. Hey guys, I have an interesting stock to analyze today and is actually a low price stock. Now, generally, I break the stocks on my watch list down into three tiers. Three stars, the most fundamentally sound. Two stars, no belief that. And one star, the least fundamentally sound on my watch list, but still sound enough to make the watch list. Red Robin is a no star, and it does not make my watch list. However, as we jump over into the analysis, we will see why I wanted to do the analysis on this stock. Now, Red Robin has a earnings date, earnings report coming out on May 22nd. The stock is currently at $6.03 a share, but Yahoo analysts estimate it can go up to $13.25 a share in the next 12 months. That's over a 100% return on a stock. Having said that, let's jump into the analysis for this stock. But before doing that, just want to go through a couple of things. One is that I analyze these stocks when I'm preparing for my this week's stock winners, where I build a watch list of fundamentally sound stocks at their annual low price. And I find those by checking the annual low list, the 52-week low list, every day as the market closes. And from those this week's stock winners, I pick one of those stocks to be this month's option pick. I also have a this week's option pick in my Patreon channel where you can see the link if you go to the home page of my YouTube channel. But in any event, having said that, let's jump into the analysis for this stock. So we're looking at Red Robin Gourmet Burgers. Ticker symbol is RRGB. And if we, we we saw it was six dollars and three cents on our candlestick chart, but it actually dropped a little during the day, so I put down the updated price. So it's currently at five dollars and ninety-five cents. And like I said, Yahoo analysts estimate it can move up to $13.25 in the next 12 months. Now, this stock is the kind of stock that I normally would not be interested in buying, but it was only the Yahoo estimate that caught my attention. Um, I wouldn't mind eating there, I wouldn't mind their burgers, but let's look into the figures for this company. 
in 2019, their earnings per share was negative 61 cents. In 2020, our COVID lockdown year, negative nineteen dollars and twenty nine cents. Negative in twenty twenty one, negative three dollars and twenty two cents. In twenty twenty two, negative four dollars and ninety eight cents. In twenty twenty three, negative a dollar thirty four. And projected for 2024, negative a dollar thirty-four. That can change. Now, seeing that the company has been probably well, we'll know for sure as we look at the income statement. But in, in all probability, losing money for the last five years. Let's see how their stock price has been. Well, in 2019, the low price for the stock was $25.45. The high price was $35.28. In 2020, the low price was $5.18, really dropped. The high price, $37.13. In 2021, the low price was $15.20, high price, $41.14. In 2022, the low price was $5.39. The high price was $18.42. And in 2023, the low price was $5.81. The high price, $15.63. And for 2024, the low price, $5.77. And the high price is projected to be $13.25. So, for a company not making money, I would say that's pretty good. Let's look at... um. And we know their earnings per share are negative. There is no B ratio for them. But they do have an earnings report coming out on May 22nd. Let's take a look at their income statement. So in 2019, this company made one billion three hundred and fifteen million fourteen thousand in sales and revenue. They lost seven billion or seven million nine hundred and three million. That's a loss of zero point sixty percent. In twenty twenty, they made eight hundred and sixty eight million. 715,000 COVID lockdown year. They lost 276,068,000. That's a 31.78% loss. In 2021, they made in sales and revenue 1,161,637,000. They lost fifty million four hundred and forty three thousand. That's a four point three four percent loss. In twenty twenty two, they made one billion two hundred and sixty five million five hundred and thirty four thousand in sales and revenue. 
they lost seven hundred and eighty or seventy eight million eight hundred and eighty three thousand. That's a six point two three percent loss. And in twenty twenty three they made one billion three hundred and three million forty six thousand. And they lost twenty one million two hundred and twenty eight thousand after paying all expenses. That's a one point six three percent loss. So after paying expenses, this company lost money all five years. Return on equity seems to not be reliable in this situation, so I'm going to skip over it and go straight to the balance sheet. And I'm, I don't like what I'm seeing already. I like my current assets to exceed current liabilities. In other words, assets to exceed debt. In this case, debt exceeded current assets all five years. And when we come to total assets and total liabilities, debt exceeded total assets in 2023, the most recent year. Now, this company did not pay a dividend. But what we like to see from a company, a public company, is that they buy back shares of their stock. And what we hate to see is when they sell more shares of their stock. Well, in 2019, they bought back 2 million seven hundred and twenty six million dollars worth of shares. And in two in that was 2019, in 2023, they bought back nine million nine hundred and sixty thousand worth of shares. But in 2020, they sold 27,083,000 worth of shares. We're going to skip the current and long term debt because we went over debt with the balance sheet. But as we jump down to the free cash flow, we see that they had 885000 worth of cash flow in 2019. But in 2020, their cash flow was negative $1,160,000. They had five million one of five million fifty one thousand worth of cash flow in twenty twenty one, five million nine hundred and sixty four thousand worth of cash flow in twenty twenty two. But their cash flow was negative forty eight million two hundred and three thousand in twenty twenty three. So we see negative cash flow for a couple of years out of the last five years. But we don't have to be worried about the dividend. They don't pay a dividend. Now, as far as book value, I have a video on my channel, The Truth About Book Value. I don't put a huge emphasis on book value except for in one situation when the book value is negative. Well, in their case, the book value is negative. Negative 
with a negative 4.51% PV ratio. Their beta is 2.3, which means this stock is very volatile, which can be a good thing or a bad thing. Shares held by insiders. Well, first, let's start with outstanding shares. They have 15.6 million outstanding shares of this stock. And of those outstanding shares, 5.49%, very high percentage, is owned by insiders and those who work for the company and 82.21% is owned by insiders. Now, Mr. Gerard J. Hart, born 1958, is the CEO, director, and president. He was appointed CEO in September of 2022 and Red Robin is in the restaurants industry, consumer cyclical sector. So that's it for my analysis on Red Robin, guys. I look forward to speaking to you in the next video. And you guys have a great day.